Hey everybody, it's Mike Fahey with Kotaku, and I am playing a game called Matchland on my iPad. It is a game by a company called Race Cat, which is a fine name. Now, Matchland, uh, the name's kind of generic sounding, but what it is, it's a puzzle RPG uh, with a retro pixely style. And it's not nearly as obnoxious as all the other puzzle RPGs out there. Uh, the ones where you have to collect characters and have gems and try to randomly get stuff. Uh, this is a kinder and gentler sort of one. The gist of it is you're running this, um, this kind of fantasy market. And we can go ahead and collect from that fantasy market. In order to open it, we collect mushrooms or snakes or bees. I should have some blobs available here. Uh, these give you money. They also give you items to upgrade your characters. I have a present today. Let me open that up. Ah, tokens for my pirate character. Oh, they just added uh, notifications. I'm going to not allow those. Here we have heroes. You start off with a three, you add a fourth, then a fifth. Uh, Barrett here I can level up. True ultimate power. And the idea here is you continue playing this puzzle game to, to gain resources to run the fantasy market, upgrade your characters and progress through the story. Uh, you can shop, it's a daily market. You can buy gold, you can even buy gems, but it's never really obnoxious about it. Let me go ahead and show you a battle. I will play one I haven't done yet, and my characters might not be skilled enough to win. Uh, do I have the... I do have the stamina. Okay. Forest level 30. Now what we do, we have all the time in the world to get started. Once we start our first move, we can plan them out, move things around, and then it all goes off at once. So let me see if I can find a good... We'll do this. This, this, oh, that already matched that. There we go. Oh, I'm getting hit. This is an advanced level, and again, I might not be quite up to the challenge here. Let's show you how it works. And you've seen gameplay like this, Puzzle and Dragons, other uh, collectible games with puzzle elements. I did that wrong. The bug's dead anyway. It's the same sort of thing presented in a charming, friendlier style. Uh, I should not be doing this and, and... Oh, there we go. I should be paying attention, really, is what I should be doing. Let's do that. The order you do things in matters. Let's get some healing. Oh, I missed that last one there. Magnifique. And you're probably seeing matches I'm mis missing. If you are, you should probably get the game and download it and do better than me. Because I fully support everyone's right to do much better th than I am. And be much better than I am in video games. Uh, wow, that was a complete wash. Though, you know, he might still die. Or he might not. The idea is once you... Oh, there we go. That should be nice. Once you complete a level and get three stars, you're challenged to complete a level in a certain number of moves. You can go back and use your energy to just harvest those levels to gain power for, for future levels. I've activated a skill here, Storm Fury. It's not all that furious. That character is a late addition, and um, he's not as powerful as the rest. I'm having a bit of a problem with him. Because I was like, I got a new character. First I had the four, now I've got five whole characters instead of doing that whole friend guest thing like the uh, the Japanese games do. Um, unfortunately, having another color on the board makes things more difficult. Uh, wow, I wasn't even paying attention there. Plan things out, Mike. Let's pulverize. We might be able to take him out uh, if I was paying attention. We can survive this attack, we can survive anything. No possible match matches, shuffling. I've been playing this game for several days. I downloaded it on a whim, no one emailed me about it. Or if they did, I didn't notice the email about it. Um, I just like the icon. 
and saw it was puzzles. Oh, I did get three stars. Awesome. We got some gold, some experience points, and captured some enemies so we can go back to the main area here and, uh... Let's collect. Do I have enough to, uh... Don't have enough bees yet. And then spiders. I have to get the spiders. But this is, this is match land from, uh, Race Cat? It's just delightful. It's, it's easy if you want to, it's not easy, but, you know, it's easy to play. We'll put it that way. And if you don't have energy, um, it's very forgiving. You can watch ads. It is free to play. But there doesn't seem to be any limit on the energy you can gain or from watching ads. I haven't been stopped. And I will not be stopped. Not by you or anyone else. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. But yeah, Matchland, it's a delightful little game. It's its like the, the very least obnoxious match three adventure puzzle collectible game possible. And I, I, I kind of love it. Thanks for watching, everybody.